I'm going to apologize already because I'm a little bit scatterbrained. And so I'm improving a lot of this because I want to speak from the heart. And so it's probably going to end up being Frankenstein together a lot with lots and lots of jump cuts. So hopefully that's bearable. All right. Cool. We good. All right. Hi there. I'm back from hiatus. Kinda. Sorta. Um, it, I might go back into hiatus, but I at least want to release three videos because I want to talk about a potential channel name change and that's gonna be this video and then I want to save like talking about life and what's been going on for me for a different video and then another one is going to be talking about potential changes to the YouTube channel uh, my view on my experience here on YouTube so far and like a bunch of other things like that one's gonna be probably pretty long and complicated um, so yeah, let's let's not dilly dally any longer. So the channel name, Per D, I really liked it. Um, and that's why I obviously chose it over a few other things I was thinking about. Um, but now, having had it for a while and looking back, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change it. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's a pun. Um, in American slang, for pretty. Uh, could be pronounced purdy, as in P-U-R-D-Y. Um, uh, it's, the channel name is a pun on that, that it's, it's the purdy part, um, which I just explained, but then it's also split up into per, the P-E-R, not the P-U-R, um, and then just the letter D, D standing for Derek, which is my name, um, and then P-E-R as in per, as in from, as in from the perspective of and then the D, Derek, so from the perspective of Derek. I thought it was a pretty clever channel name. It's got a, a pun in it, it's got American slang in it, and it's got, uh, it just summarizes what the channel is, which is more or less just a personal channel that I'm just gonna put whatever the fuck I want up on it. Or, well, initially it was Let's Plays, but now it's probably gonna be whatever the fuck I wanna put up on it. Anyways, that's for the next video. Blech, blech, get that shit out of here. So, as you can see, like an onion, it has layers, and not everyone always gets those layers. Uh, usually when I go and explain it to people, they're like, Oh, that's really clever. I like that channel name. That's a really good idea. But the thing is, it's a little bit too complicated for everyone to get immediately. Um, so I'm probably going to change it. It doesn't have a very good ring to it. Um, if you take the space out, P-E-R-D, I believe is actually a... Um, Urban Dictionary term for a, a history nerd. I think that's what it is. Um, it's it's not very Googleable. Uh, the some people who don't know, some people who don't know that my name is Derek might not understand that the capital D stands for Derek. Um, stuff like that. So I've got three options for you. Probably unless I come up with a fourth one while I'm making this video, which hopefully won't happen. Because that would throw off the entire flow of what I'm doing right now, where I've said, oh, I've got three things, and then if I come up with a four, then that's all gone. That's out the window. Now I'm lying to you right now. Ah, okay. So, channel idea number one, Fullbind. Um, what I did to create this name, because it looks really, really random, right, um, was I took my middle name and my last name, and I took out all the duplicate letters, and then using the remaining letters, I, uh, just mixed and matched around until I found something that sounded phonetically decent. Um, this was my personal favorite of those combinations. Generally, I use it because, like, it has almost like a, a fantasy or sci-fi ring to it. Otherworldly type thing, like, uh, it's, it's not like a stereotypical name like Tom or Bob. Or, why, why, why are those my always... <sighs> fuck, I can't fucking speak. Why are those always my go-to names? I just, hmm... How about Todd? Oh, that's close to Tom and Bob. It's a combination of the two. Excellent. Anyways. <sighs> Crazy ranting stuff aside. Philippine sounds pretty cool, I think, and I use it from time to time on uh, usernames, on websites and whatnot, so it's already kind of out there a little bit. Um, it's just one, one word uh, as opposed to two words, which is the next example I'm going to give. Um... Because I feel like usually those are the good directions to go. Either a one-word combo that's fairly original, 
well, not combo. It's not a one word combo. It's just one word or two word combos that sound really nice together. I personally am a big fan of alliteration. Um, so option number two, omnipresent owl. The problem I have with this one, and the only reason why I went with the per D over this one, because this was originally what I was going to go with, was that omnipresent is a very long word, and not everyone knows what it means. Um, I guess in a nutshell, what I was going for with the omnipresent word was that it's all-encompassing. It's everywhere. It's This is the internet, so I can basically be anywhere in the world right now, um, if that makes sense. Uh, that, that I, that the channel would be me using my voice to speak to everyone, everywhere. That's kind of pseudo omnipresent. And then owl, cause it's my favorite animal. And a two O's, alliteration, fucking love alliteration. Oof, everything sounds so great with alliteration. Um, my big problem with this one though, is that I think I'm on a pro <sighs> fuck, I can't speak. My big problem with this one is... Omnipresent is a little bit complicated. I I think it might get into the territory with the per D name where not enough people get it. Um, and that even though phonetically, I think it sounds pretty nice uh, with the alliteration and whatnot. Um, I'm not sure I'll end up going with that. I'll, this is why I want to like put this video out and get you guys' opinion and whatnot. An alternative would be just abbreviate Omnipresent to Omni. Omni is, um, I guess kind of cool. I think, is Omni Slash a thing? I think it's Final Fantasy. They're like, there's a Final Fantasy move called Omni Slash or something like that. But regardless, it's already kind of out there in pop culture. People, as, as like an impressive word, if that makes sense. And then we've still got the alliteration. I would know what stood for Omnipresent. Anyone who watched this video would know what stood for Omnipresent. But at the very, but at the same time, it doesn't alienate newcomers who wouldn't know that. They're just like, oh, Omni just sounds really cool. It's an impressive, um, I should go look up what the Latin root means. Here, that's what the Latin root means, if it exists. Or maybe it's not a Latin root. Maybe it doesn't come from Latin. Maybe it's something else. I don't fucking know. I was, here's a thing. Appreciate it. So yeah, that's idea number two. Um, idea number three, uh, and this is the one that I least want to do even though I think it sounds like it could be a lot, a lot of fun, is that before I go back on potentially hiatus again, um, I release a fourth video. That's right. That's right. I lied to you. At the very beginning when I said I just want to release three videos, just update videos telling you what's going on and like ideas and whatnot. No, there could be a fourth. And that fourth one is I go to like a, a random word generator or whatever, and I randomly generate like two words or three words or something like that. And we just go until we find something that sounds cool. And until I find like a bunch of options that sound cool. And I'll just record myself live, randomly generating stuff, tossing ideas around. Well, not, not live, live. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna live stream because my laptop sucks and I tried live streaming and it doesn't work and it's just not fun. Um, well, it is fun. I, I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed live streaming. I just... The laptop can't handle it. <sighs> so everything was like blocky, where like, uh, it would be like one frame every two seconds. That's not good. That's not a good frame rate. You want like 60 frames per second, or 30 frames per second. Not, not one frame every two seconds. It's just not fun to watch someone play Dark Souls at that kind of rate. And, uh, my laptop can't handle it. I'm eventually, one day, one day, I'll make a lot of money. One day, I'll be rich. And on that day, I'll buy myself a nice, fancy gaming PC that I'll be able to stream from. It'll have like a beefy CPU so it can handle all the um, the streaming whatnots. Uh, I'm also going to buy myself a fancy bed because this futon that I've got propped up in like a... I don't fucking know. I'd say couch, but I'm sure there's a better term for it. It's one of those folding ones that go flip, 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 flip. Anyways, uh, it's not very comfortable. I also want to have enough money to buy a new bed, but that's that's not today. Gosh, dang it, I'm off topic. Anyways, randomly generate words, come up with something new. Basically, it'd be along the lines of like, 
Omni Owl, where it's just like something that maybe not alliteration. Things can sound nice without alliteration. I'm just a fan of alliteration, so I don't know. I don't know where that will go. Alternatively, and here's where I'm a stupid idiot because I said I wasn't going to throw in a fourth option, but here I go throwing in a fourth option. Um, you guys could come up with something. If you've got something you're like, you know what? This fits. I'm going to stick it here in the comments section and we'll see if it gets any kind of attention and if he likes it or anything like that. And if other people like it, I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe I'll have a, like a popular vote type option thing. But don't forget, like, the first two, I'd much prefer option one or two to option three, and now begrudgingly option four. So, we've got full bind. It's just a visually, just a nonsensical word that would be like a label. So, like, um, like, like, Tobuscus. You know that channel? How it's just a nonsense word. I mean, I, I know that Tobuscus is like, his name's Toby, so it kind of makes sense. The Tobe part makes sense. I don't know the origin of the channel name or whatever, but like point is, it's just nonsensical words. They can work sometimes. They can become an um, identity of a person. Um, and then the other one on the present owl is just, hey, you've got two words. They sound nice together. It's like, um... Like Filthy Frank. There, there's a good channel name example. Filthy Frank. Once again, alliteration. You got those two Fs and they sound nice together. Yeah. So, those are the two... Oh, fucking bird. So, those are the two that uh, I came up with. Oh, fucking bird. Shut the fuck up. No. Bad. No. Mm. Oh, no, what? Stop, stop, you're getting feathers all over everything. Stop, no, no. Fine, just, do you want to go on my belly or do you want to go on my shoulder? You usually like my shoulder better. Yeah, I'm just going to twitch with the dog barking in the distance as I would startle in you. Okay, here, you know what? We'll put you on a shoulder. You don't get a preference this time. This way the camera can see you. It would be better to put you on that side. I don't know. Too late for me to figure that out now. Oh, goodness. Ah, I think I shifted from my spot. I was closer to this side, right? Right? I don't know. This is gonna look weird, but hey, calm down. Okay, I'll resume once the bird calms down, alright? I think, um, I think maybe it's just camera shy. I feel like for the most part, you guys understand what, uh, my expectations for this video are. And I kind of lost my train of thought. So, yeah. Anyways, um, let's go off topic for a little bit. Let's go off topic again. I'm good at going off topic. <clears throat> for the longest time, I didn't have a name for this bird. We, we've tried naming him multiple times before, but nothing really stuck. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, but, uh, I finally decided to try and give him a name again. I'm gonna go with Judas, as in Judas Iscariot. It's a biblical reference. Um, basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, at, at the very least, you know, like, Jesus is, like, the big guy for Christianity, right? And you're just like, oh, it's Jesus. He died for our sins. doo 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 At the very least, most people know that part of the story. Shush. Anyways, before Jesus went and got crucified, um, Judas betrayed him for, I think it's three silver coins. Uh, Judas being one of Jesus' disciples who would, like, follow him around. Basically, like, like a groupie, if that makes sense. Um, just a... Anyways, uh, so he's a traitor who sold out, basically, according to- Oh, shut the fuck up! No! I just saw a giant spike in audio, that's gonna be terrible to edit. No! I'm busy talking about Judas! 
and how I gave him his name Judas. Because even though being greedy and selling someone out for three silver coins, like, that's probably pretty evil. I consider that evil. And this bird is not a very good bird. Borderline evil. So the name, the name fits, right? 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 That makes sense? Shut up. And calm down. It's just a dog. It's just a dog barking in the distance, okay? I've seen it. I've ridden my bike next to it. It's not that big a dog. It's not that big a deal. Just chill. Okay? Hmm. Okay. Okay, bird. You win. You win. You get the snuggles. Okay, cool, bird. Mm-hmm. Is this what you wanted? No? You don't like this either? Oh, sure, now you want on the shoulder. You're like, oh, it's better than snuggles. All right, well, with this video successfully derailed by the bird, um, I bid you farewell. Happy commenting. Yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> the fate of this channel rests in your hands, your smooth, smooth, succulent hands typing away at that keyboard. Happy commenting, folks. Bye.